Stabbed. One of them was nailed to the ground with spears. While ants came and ate his body while he was alive. And all he had to do was say, I don't believe in him. All they had to do was say, Jimai Pichol Godonal, Godoswentonal. Chimai Penelco, Jesus, O Cristo, Sudel. Chimai Penel, Jeninga, the Pagat Bandeleste. That's all they had to do. Church, do you know that the greatest revival the earth has ever seen, the greatest growth of the church the earth has ever seen, has always been when the church has been persecuted? When they come against you, when they mock you, when they outlaw you, when they want to kill you, it's the greatest times that God moves. Pastor, what are you telling me? These were apostles. These were people that walked with him, that talked with him. These were people that sat down and ate with him. <coughs> Pastor, you can't expect me to be like that. You can't expect me to suffer like that. Well, you know what, Charlie? There were some normal people. Let me tell you a little story. I got a book here called Jesus Freaks, and I would recommend that people get it. The 30 Christian families stood in front of a mosque surrounded by 500 Muslims. You'd better leave Christianity and become a Muslim again, the crowd yelled. If you do, we will help you. If not, we will beat you. Mira Jarali and his family stood with others. We were all new converts from Islam, which makes them really angry, he said. Second generation Christians do not upset them as much. On that morning, every believer, including the women and the children, had to stand before Muslim leaders for four hours, while each family was questioned. When Mira's turn came to stand before the court, he said, In your religion, there is no salvation, no hope for going to heaven. I have Jesus, and now I am whole. Now Jesus has forgiven my sins, and I have hope for heaven. Following the hearing, all of the Christian families were forbidden to get water from the village well. From that day on, they have had to walk and carry their water more than a mile every day. Then the villagers accused Mira and several others of stealing water. The police beat them, kicked me and put me in prison for 30 days. I was tied to the back of another Christian man. We were beaten for four days, then locked in a cell with 60 Muslim prisoners. The Muslim prisoners were sympathetic. It is better that you are Christians, they told Mira. It is a good life. Muslims are not at peace. They are always fighting each other. Mira's land was confiscated by the village Muslim leader. Even though Mira's wife was expecting a baby, members of his family have been beaten several times. They walk through the village. People throw mud at them. The Christians have also been attacked in their little house church. Even though they are all new believers, they are not shaken by the harsh treatment. We give thanks to God that these things cannot destroy our spirit, Mira said. Jesus told us, that we are only here for a few days. We have eternal life and will stay with him in heaven. We will take care of, he will take care of all of this. When was this, church? Was this a long time ago? Was this sometime hundreds of years ago? No. This was 1997. Does anybody love the Lord? Fang Chen. Tell us, the officer shouted as he brought the whip down again across the pastor's back. We must know who else is working with you. Day after day, the Chinese communists tortured Fang Chen. But no matter what they did to him, he steadfastly refused the names of his fellow Christians. One day, Chen was brought again before the examining officer. In the corner of the room, he saw a heap of rags and heard a rattling of chains. 
As the image became clearer, he realized it was his mother. Before, she did not have white hair. Now she had. The color of her face was like ashes. He could see that she too had passed through heavy suffering. The communist spoke to Ching. I have heard that you Christians have ten commandments, supposedly given by God, which you strive to obey. I would be interested in knowing them. Would you be so kind as to recite the Ten Commandments? Chen was in a terrible state of heart, but any opportunity to acquaint a communist with God's law must not be neglected. He began to list the commandments. When he arrived at honoring your father and your mother, he was interrupted. The communist told him, Chen, I wish to give you an opportunity to honor your mother. Here she is, suffering in chains. Tell us what you know about your brethren in faith. And I promise you tonight that you and your mother will be free, and you will be able to give her care and honor. Let me see now whether you really believe in God and wish to fulfill his commandment. It was not easy to make a decision. Chang turned to his mother. Mother, what shall I do? The mother answered, I have taught you from childhood to love Christ and his holy church. Don't mind my suffering. Seek to remain faithful to the Savior and his little brothers. And if you betray, you are no more my son. This was the last time that Feng Cheng saw his mother. It was likely that she died under torture. Church, does anybody love the Lord? Pastor, those were people in other countries. Pastor, how can you expect that of me? This man allowed his mother to die for Christ's sake. Is that scriptural? The Bible says in Matthew chapter 10, He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. He that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Pastor, Pastor, that's the tema. Bray, Nike ko America. Bray, you can't expect that of us, Pastor. This is America. Wait a minute. Don't you guys remember Columbine High School? I know it was a while ago. Do you believe in God? As the little girl said, yes. Shut. What about the prayer meeting in the high school in Kentucky when another guy walked in with a rifle and he shot 12 kids? What about the churches that we hear that are burned in Texas that go on from state to state? Does anybody love the Lord? Pastor, you don't understand. I have a family. Pastor, you don't understand. I have to take care of my wife. I have to take care of my kids. Pastor, you don't understand. I have things I need to do in my life. You can't expect me to die. Paul said, I die daily. 